let's add some custom tools to Minecraft. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, we found back and tell you once more. And in this tutorial, we'll be adding custom tools to Minecraft. Indeed, so this is going to be a custom sword, pickaxe, shovel, axe, and lastly, even the hoe. I know we're, we're still going to add a hoe, even though, you know, it's... It's really at the bottom of the list over here, but it is going to be fine. Now, for custom tools, what we'll need is custom, a custom tool tier. And for that, we'll need a custom tag, actually, which is, I mean, it's pretty crazy. But we basically are going to, first of all, start by adding the custom tag. And the way that this works nowadays in the newer versions is actually that you can't really define tags that well, let's say. So one of the issues is they sort of took away the ability to make our custom tools or custom tool tiers better or worse than vanilla stuff. We can sort of only situate them in a right now in an actual vanilla tier. So for our block tags, what we're going to do is two tags over here, a public static file tag key of type block over here. This is going to be the needs underscore bismuth underscore bismuth underscore tool equal to the create tag method needs underscore bismuth underscore tool. Now, in theory, we don't need this necessarily inside of the code because that is only going to be a JSON tag, but it still makes sense to add this right here. And then the other one is the incorrect underscore for underscore bismuth underscore tool. And then of course, changing the name here to making sure we write this correctly, incorrect underscore four underscore bismuth underscore tool. Those are the two tags that we will definitely need. And for the custom tool tier, we basically need to tell it, okay, this is going to be the incorrect tag. It's a very strange how this is done. So you basically can define a, okay, these are the blocks that do not work for this particular tag. It's, it's very strangely made. I don't necessarily like the new system, but it is what it is. That's what we have to work in. So let's just see. In the item package, we're going to make a new Java class called the mod tool tiers class. There we go. And this is going to be super freaking easy because here we're simply going to have a public static final tier uh, from net Minecraft world item. This is going to be bismuth equal to the, a new simple tier passing in mod tags dot blocks dot incorrect for bismuth tool. You can see incorrect for block tools drop is exactly right. Then how many uses this is going to have, let's say 1400, a speed of let's say four, an attack bonus of three, an enchantment value of, I don't know, bismuth could be pretty enchantable. Let's say 28, go crazy over here. And then a supplier of ingredient dot of, and there's of course mod items dot bismuth dot as item, or actually we don't even need to do a dot here. There we go. That is going to be bismuth. If you want to see the tiers from vanilla, press shift twice, and we're going to put in the tiers over here and check non-project items. And in the tiers class, you can see the values for all of the different tiers here from vanilla. So in 1400, right, when we talk about the uses over here, we're just a little bit less, like a little bit worse than diamonds. But in terms of enchantability, we're insane. We're even more enchantable than gold. Absolutely crazy. But yeah, that's basically the idea. Highly recommended to obviously check out the tiers class if you want to balance your own tiers. But there you go. That is going to be the first step right here. And then for the second step, let's add all of the different items. So this is going to be quite interesting indeed. We're going to add the first one and then duplicate for the rest. So I'm going to do a public static final deferred item of type sword item. This is going to be the sword item. And this is going to be, let's just zoom in a little bit. This is the bismuth underscore sword equal to the items deferred register dot register bismuth underscore sword. And then the second parameter is a supplier as per usual of a new sword item First parameter being the mod tool tiers bismuth. Second parameter being the item properties where it is extremely important that we call the attributes method over here and then make do sort item dot create attributes. And what we can do is we can pass in the tier again bismuth over here with attack damage of five and a attack speed of three. The values are taken from the items class. So if we once again press shift twice and go to the items class and look, for example, for the sword, that should be three and minus 2.5. So much for that was taken from the item class. 
I really thought they were taken from here, but I guess not. Okay, well, that, this, these are the actual values. Obviously, you can take those. You can also put in whatever values you want. Obviously, like that's not like no one's stopping you from just putting in whatever values you want. It is kind of strange, once again, the way that it's done, because every sword item literally has the same values. It's always going to be attack of three and attack like speed of minus 2.4. So I don't know why they did it like this, but, you know, Mojank gotta be Mojanking, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, with the sword done, what we can do is simply duplicate this four additional times and add all of the rest. So first of all, this is a deferred item of the pickaxe item variety. Then this is the bismuth underscore pickaxe. And then changing the name here as well. It's extremely important that you take good care over here, that you change everything everywhere where it needs to change, including in the attributes right here. So you can see you need to change the like item three times, right? Once in the deferred item, once in the new item class that you're creating, and once in the attributes over here. Also, be note, do note, obviously, that you need to change the name as well, as well as the name of the field, and then the values for the item over here. So this is the pickaxe is 1.4 and minus, uh, minus 2.8 in this case. You can then proceed to the shovel, which is, of course, going to be a shovel item called the bismuth shovel. And then here it is called the bismuth underscore shovel. And then here it is a shovel item which creates the attributes from a shovel item over here with the following attack damage 1.5f and a minus 3.0f over here. And then we have the bismuth axe, which is an axe item. Can you imagine it? Yes, it is a bismuth underscore axe and then a bismuth underscore axe, which is a new axe item, which creates its attributes from the axe item over here. And then here we're going to have a 6 for the attack damage, but a minus 3.2 for the attack speed. And then last, but certainly least, we have the whole item over here, bismuth underscore whole. And then here a bismuth underscore whole 2, which is going to be a new whole item. And then a new whole item right here as well. Oh, whole item. There we go. And this one is absolutely abysmal with a 0 attack damage and a minus 3.0 attack speed. It is absolutely the worst tool imaginable, but that is going to be fine. Let's not get my um, my negativity over here on the on the farming implements, uh, you know, over sweeping everything else. So let's think about this. Let's see this. So we have the five items right here. That is pretty cool. Now, what are we going to do with them? Very, very straightforward. We're first of all going to add them to the creative mode tab because that one might just be a thing that we forget and that would be tragic. We're going to start with a sword, and we have the pickaxe, the pickaxe, we have the shovel, we have the axe, and of course, lastly, the hoe over here. And then we can also add all of them to the data gen, and we actually need to do two things in the data gen. First of all, the item models over here, very straightforwardly, where we will actually make another custom method. Now, why would this be the case? Why can't we just use the basic item? Well, 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 because our custom tools have to be handheld items. Otherwise, they will not show up properly in third person, right? So if you have a normal texture or a normal item in your inventory and in your hand, then it's just going to show up as the normal texture. However, for the for all of the tools, you want them to be handheld. You want them to extrude it in the third dimension and like look like you're actually holding a tool. That's why this is going to be the case. We're going to have the five different items over here displayed exactly like this. So there's going to be shovel, the axe over here, and then here it is going to be the hoe. And what we can also do is we can go to the item tags over here and actually add them to the item tags dot. And here we have the swords over here and highly recommended to actually add them to all of those as well, because that is going to make them enchantable for certain things, right? So that's quite important. So we can do this a couple of times and then we have the pickaxes, which is going to be the pickaxe. We then have the, I think that every one of them has it, a shovel. We can add this to the shovels. We can have the, this is going to be the axis where we add the axe. And then lastly, I think there is a hose one. Absolutely, there is a hose tag. I mean, the jokes write themselves, but it is pretty funny. Uh, that is obviously very, very important that we have this. And then additionally, to sort of close the loop on our mod tags right here for the needs bitmap tool, as well as the needs, um, the, the incorrect tool over here. What we're going to do is for the needs tool, we're going to go to the block tag provider over here and we're going to make the block. No, this is mod tags dot blocks dot. And this is for the needs tool. 
here, what we're going to do is we're going to add, I believe we need to do the add tag because here we want to basically make bismuth as strong as iron. That's the whole idea, right? So we're going to say, hey, bismuth can basically mine everything that iron can and below. That's the whole idea in this case. Like I said, we can't really do our own custom tool tiers anymore. That currently does not work. So we couldn't, like, we wouldn't be able to do anything beyond netherite anyway. So that's a thing that sadly is a limitation. But for the time being, we're going to do block tags dot. And this is going to be the needs iron tool over here. So this is the first thing we're going to do. And then the second thing for the other one, mod tags blocks dot incorrect tool here, you want to actually do the following. Here we want to add the following thing we want to oh let me think about this uh, we need to add the incorrect this is another tag we want to add the block tags dot incorrect so incorrect tool uh, or incorrect for iron tool and then we want to remove mod tags dot blocks dot needs business tool so what is this going to do it looks a little bit crazy but the idea is as follows. With the needs this bismuth tool, every single block that iron can also mine, bismuth now can also mine. And then if we add something different to this, then it is also removed from the incorrect tool tag because they no longer go via the needs it, but the like doesn't need it. It's very strange. Once again, I don't know why they. this is the weird way they did this. It gives you a little bit more flexibility because you now have the uh when we actually look at the correct class i wanted to look at which would be the iron one we have now the ability to specifically say okay this block can ever only be mined with one specific tool because now we can disable it so to speak right for all of the tools below it but i don't know it's still a little bit strange to me uh, there's probably better ways to do it i don't know but that is just the way that it's going to be this is basically the way to set it up, right? If you want your tool tier to be, you know, as strong as diamond, then you use the needs diamond tool here and you use the incorrect for diamond tool right here. And that would have the same effect and it would be sort of the same level as diamond. But major point is obviously, right, if I have something that let's say I were to change it up so that I have the needs diamond tool over here. Let's say I have the needs diamond for, let's say the bismuth lamp. Let's sure. Why not? Right. So let's add the lamp over here for the pickaxe and we can only mine this with diamond. However, I'm saying, no, no, no. You can also add it. You can also mine it with a bismuth tool. This is now going to work, right? So now we can define, okay, this can only be mined with the business, business tool. It is, it, it's still a little bit weird. It's still not as well done as the previous version was, I think. But, you know, who knows? Maybe it's going to be changed up in the future as well. But we are not done quite just yet. The next step is the translation, which is, I mean, that's very easy. And then the textures, which of course will all going to, uh, th those are all going to be available to you as well. That's going to be the axe. We have the hoe, pickaxe, shovel, and the sword. All of them added to the item folder right here. And I believe this should be everything that we're going to need. So what we can do is we can run the data over here to generate all of the JSON files, so all of the block tags, the item tags, and the item model JSON files. However, how many of those are going to be? I actually don't know how. Let's see, 14 of them. Uh, that's pretty good. And with that done, well, let's jump into the game and see our tools for the first time. All right, friends, we're back in Minecraft. As you can see, all of the different tools have been successfully added to the game. And if I switch to a survival mode, we can see I can mine this stuff exactly how we'd expect it to. And I can also mine the lamp because, well, I have the. Oh, God! <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> well, that's going to be that's going to be kept in, okay? That's going to be oh, uh, that's a good easter egg. Okay, anyway, so I can mine the lamp here too. And um I can even mine redstone because like I said it is the same level as iron and I can even mine the deep slate that we've defined only be mineable with iron. So there you go. I can use the hoe over here to till the soil. I can move over. I can right click over here to strip logs. I can mine them. I can do shovel actions. So all of that works without any issues whatsoever. The sword um, is going to be quite good. Let's see um, and let's try it out on one of our piggies right here. Hello there pig. Goodbye there pig. Uh, there you go. So that is all working totally fine. That is amazing and that is going to be all of the different tools well, added to Minecraft. 
absolutely freaking awesome. As always, of course, all of the code is available down below, but that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, oh, we'll make a 3x3 tool, also known as a hammer. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.